All right, brother and sister, gearing up. Green flies, who's going to win? It's under Dodge out of Freeport in the 53, grabbing the lead with Doug DeGroat. Now working on that lead as well. He's tucked up behind the leader, coming out of turn four. Chess Williams in the 46, trying to get down underneath Adriana Dodge to take that third spot away. He does, and he's going to bring Jeff Davis with him in the one car. Farrington also there on the inside. A lot of cars trapped up on the outside. But Doug DeGroat says, I am not trapped on the outside. I'm doing this on purpose. And he's actually making some ground on the leader, at least staying door to door with him. Adriana Dodge going to pull up and drop to near the back of the pack. Here comes the race to the line. It's going to be Hunter Dodge holding on to the spot, barely. I think there may be a problem with that 35 car. All right, DeGroat and Hunter Dodge one more time to the line. Who's going to win this one? Doug DeGroat by two one hundredths of a second. That's shaping up to be a good one. And here comes Hunter Dodge. He's going to win this race. Michael Golding now up into third on the outside of Chess Williams. Farrington and Jeff Davis are running fifth and sixth right now. Not much separation with those top three groups. They've stayed pretty much right in line for the last few laps. Hunter Dodge just trying to get a little separation that time from Doug DeGroat. DeGroat not letting him get anywhere. Here comes Michael Golding now out around the 46, trying to take that spot away, but he's gonna have trouble completing the pass. Golding slamming the 26 down low, and he's going to take that spot away from Chess Williams. He's now up into third. Farrington on the outside of the 46. He wants up in fourth. Doug DeGroat now going to jump down in front of that 53 and take that spot, but here comes Jeff Farrington on the outside with two to go. He jumps around a big group of cars, and he puts the 0-1 in second. Golding sitting in third. Little contact there, I believe, between the 53 and the 46 on the back stretch. But the white is going to fly for the top three, which is Doug DeGroat, Jeff Farrington, and Michael Golding. Here we go one more time out of turn four. See if Farrington's going to make a move. He doesn't have the time, and that's going to be your running order. Doug DeGroat is your winner in the 84X. To the infield, brother and sister will get the green flag from flagman Nate Sennett. There we go. And they will fan out three wide over into turn one. Shane Weber using the high side. Nearly gets the back stretch wall as they came out of turn two. Hunter Dodge has had a fast ride the last couple weeks, but mechanically it hasn't held together for him for the full 25 laps. Here comes Doug DeGroat checking up on the outside of the 53 of Hunter Dodge will go side by side for the lead. In the meantime, Jeff Farrington, another driver using the high side. He's up from the back of the field now into the top five. Weber's thinking about three wide. Oh, we got a couple cars, one of them in the wall. We'll go red on this one. Well, I don't know. If, actually, I missed the whole thing, Matt. Did he? 
Mike Carlton says both drivers giving them the thumbs up. But we will obviously get our safety crew over there to make sure that uh, they're all set. Dodge and Doug DeGroat. Doug coming in second in points here in the problems for Hunter Dodge. The, the car didn't take off for him and he parks it right there on the front stretch. The mechanical problems continue for that number 53. He's had a fast ride when all four cylinders are running, but again comes back to bite him. Another car off the pace up at the top of turn four. That's uh, the 07 of Doug Churchill. Good battle back there behind the leader. Michael Golding's got second. Shane Weber in the seven and Jeff Farrington in the zero. Locked in a good battle for the final spot in victory lane. Golding just threw down the fast lap of the race with an 18.72. 72 mile per hour average around the track. And there he goes underneath Doug DeGrove. They'll go Wheel to wheel for the lead this time by. They'll complete lap 10 this time by the stripe. Now Michael Golding in that 26 looking to regain some lost ground. He missed the last race of the season two weeks ago. And that battle for third still continues. Jeff Farrington and Shane Weber back and forth. Michael Golding stretching out that lead now to about a second and a half. Michael's last win came three years ago here in the Thunder Four Minis. It was a two-time winner and division runner-up back in 2018. Jeff Farrington still being pressured by that number seven of Shane Weber as we hit the final 10. Michael Golding is taking charge of this race. Half straightaway advantage, actually nearly a full straightaway now over Doug DeGroat. DeGroat's trying to protect that second spot and turn in his best Swiss Cassid finish. Weber and Farrington continue to go at it. Farrington shuts the door on him in turn three. And that's for the third and final spot in victory lane. Golding has stretched out his lead to over four seconds now on Doug DeGroat. A 
Laps winding down for the 26, trying to turn in his first win in three years. Doug DeGroat in the 84, trying to nail down a Wiscasset career best. He's never finished higher than third here at Wiscasset in his career. And if things finish the way they do, things will tighten up atop the point lead as well. DeGroat, uh, Shane Weber may come out of this, still is the leader, but not by much. They'll hit two laps to go next time by the stripe. Golding trying to leave no doubt in this one. He's built up a six second lead now. Almost seven seconds now over Doug DeGroat. And the white flag, final three-eighths of a mile to go for Michael Golding. One more final ride through turn three and four. Checkered flag is up. Michael Golding will take the win. DeGroat solid in second. Watch that race for third. They're side by side out of turn four. DeGroat takes second, Farrington will take third, Shane Weber will settle for fourth, and Jeff Davis fifth in the number one. Right. Now, I, I won't jump to conclusions and say this is this guy's first win, but I do know this is his first win in three years, and uh, a, special <laughs> a special win at that. I know there's a little more meaning behind this win. Yeah, you lost something there, buddy, but uh-oh, we'll find it. Uh, Michael Golding, come on over here. Congratulations. Uh, car was hooked up. You missed the last race. We talked about it down in the pit. So uh, you made the right choice by missing the race, and you, you backed it up by uh, a really important win for you tonight. Yeah, uh, i got to thank everybody that's helped me on the car and stuff. My dad worked on this thing two days in a row to try to get it straightened out. I mean, I bent the front spindle a little bit in that last uh, four weeks ago, and we put a new spindle on it. We got a, had a rear spindle bent. and I mean, it's a long story, but we went through this thing from front to back and straightened everything out, got it all straightened out, and seems to go pretty good. So, But I got to thank my sponsors, uh, D Banks, um, Realtor of Maine, Time to Move. And I got to thank uh, uh, White Lab Genetics and everybody that's helped me on the car. We've done great. All right, congratulations, Michael Golding, picking up the win here with the Thunder Four Minis. Doug DeGroat, welcome back. Uh, you're almost there, buddy. I, I know you've won some races in your career, but uh, career best second place finish here at Wiscasset. You're getting there. Yeah, I keep trying. We're working on it. Got, uh, out of breath, sorry. <laughs> My buddy Corey showed up and started helping me the last few weeks, so get some tires on the car from Wentworth, and here we go. So I, I know you've uh, mentioned to me before that points aren't a big thing, but you're taking over the point lead with this finish tonight, buddy. Am I really? Boy. I'd really rather have a win. It's like I've only won at Oxford, so to win down here would be an accomplishment for me. Who are you thanking tonight? I don't have much going on here. We got DeGroat's Garage. We've got to thank Coastal Auto Parts. Uh, we got Schooner Bay supporting us. You know, it's all the little companies that help us make this worthwhile. All right, Doug DeGroat coming home in second. And Jeff Farrington. Jeff comes home in third tonight. Uh, I know you got a neat third place trophy here, buddy, but I'm going to put this one. I'm going to put that one right there for a second, okay? Uh, we were going to do this during intermission, but I thought I had a feeling you might be up here tonight. Uh, third place finish. First of all, talk about the car tonight. Ran really well. Yeah, we got airborne last week and had a lot of um, things to straighten out and get back to the setup that we were, and I still don't think we're there. I hope we get all the bent parts out. Um, I, don't, I don't feel we did because it just wasn't handling right. 
Now, you're a rookie in this class. You ran some Enduros and stuff here in the past, but how would you assess your first season here in this division? I knew we'd be, you know, a competitive car, but it's, uh, I didn't think out of seven weeks we'd have six podium finishes. Couple wins. Uh, you had a great month of June. You certainly uh, were here on the podium pretty much every week in the month of June. Uh, the consistency is what's going to keep you up there in the top. Yeah, I would really, as a rookie, like to get a championship. That's what I'm chasing. Well, I, I'm going to hopefully give you a little something to kind of boost that confidence and stuff. I got a trophy right here, thanks to Steve Perry and Mainly Awards, that says uh, Wiscasset Speedways. Uh, 2021 Four Seasons Synthetic June Driver of the Month, Mr. Jeff Farrington. Uh, three podium finishes in the month. And as the people know about our Driver of the Month here at Wiscasset Speedway, it's not just what you do in the car, it's how you represent yourself out of the car on behalf of Wiscasset Speedway and all your sponsors and such. So uh, I also have a $100 certificate here from Lee Mortensen with Four Seasons Synthetic toward Amsoil Products. And uh, congratulations. Who you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank all the fans for coming out and uh, China Redemption, uh, Holt and Logan, and everybody that helps me. And this is just a great class, and I want to be a clean racer, you know. All right, that's what it's all about right there. Folks, third place tonight and your June driver of the month here at Wiscasset Speedway, Jeff Farrington.